Hi everyone! Two things are the most important to make your renders look photorealistic. The first one is the quality of the 3D models you are using, that is, the objects in your scene. I have already shared with you a video on the top 5 websites that I use to download 3D models. The second thing is the materials you are using and the quality of your textures. Now, that's a bit tricky because when my clients come to me with a new project, they also send me the textures I should be using since they have specific suppliers for their projects. In cases like this, unfortunately, there is not much that you can do because you need to show exactly their selections and almost in every case, you need to know Photoshop to adjust those textures to make them look seamless. But when you're working on personal projects, on your portfolio, let me share with you the websites I use and I'm sure you will also find them useful. There are tons of websites out there with textures and most of them offer them for free. In this video, I won't be making a list of all those websites. I will only mention the ones I use and that's because I consider myself, let's say, picky. I actually suck at Photoshop, so I really, really appreciate it when others do the job for me and I can just grab the texture and apply it in my scene. My first go-to is Tile Expert. I love this site because apart from the fact that the search is so easy and well organized, it gives me some really cool combos. And what do I mean by that? Let's see it together. Let's go to the filters up here. Let's go to the effects menu and select stone. Then let's go to the color menu and select beige. Let's click on this sample. Scroll down and we can see some variety here. So, we can use this one as our main flooring and let's say this mosaic or this accent tile for the kitchen backsplash. Now, this site might be called Tile Expert and only have tiles, but don't limit your imagination to what the description says. If we go to the Effects menu and select Fabric, I have personally used some of those as carpets or accent pillows. If we select wood, we can see a really nice collection of textures here. Textures.com is great because not only do they provide a great variety of textures, but they also have the PBR materials menu. So, they give you seamless textures in all the types you need. And by types, I mean that they give you the diffuse map, the reflect map, the bump map, and so on. So, you no longer need Photoshop. A website similar to textures.com is Textures Heaven. To be honest, I don't really use it because I usually find anything I need in textures.com, but the good thing with this site is that it offers you all the textures for free in high resolution, which is up to 8,000 pixels. So that's a really good quality, especially for printing purposes. And another similar site is 3D Textures. Once again, you have free seamless PBR textures. The resolution here is 1,000 pixels, and if you need them higher, then you have to pay. 
I have mentioned 3D Sky in the sites I use to download 3D models. I also use that for my textures. So it has the menu texture, but apart from that, it also has the menu materials where it offers you, apart from the texture, the 3D model as well. The surfaces we see here are 3D modeled. Up here, the Pro models are for purchase, while the Free and OM are for free, so you can narrow down your research. Based on my personal experience, because that's how I started, if you are a beginner, this site will help you a lot, especially when you want to create materials with more complex properties like silk or velvet or even leather. In cases like this, what I was doing was to find an object that already has assigned that fabric. So, let's go to the sofas menu and here we can see a velvet sofa. And I'm saying that because in order to create a realistic velvet or leather, you just don't go and apply a diffuse and bump map. You have to adjust quite a lot of properties. So I would use this one as a base material and adjust the diffuse map and anything else necessary to reach my desired result. Same philosophy to what I mentioned right before for 3D Sky goes for Turbo Squid as well. It's mostly known for its 3D models, but you can click here and select texture maps. Let me type wood. And here we are. When I want to find some cool designs for my carpets, I go to Deso. This is actually a carpet supplier and they have done a really good job organizing their website. So let me choose, for example, the hospitality carpets and click on the view design library. Let me select this design, for instance. And let's say that I like this design, but I wanted it in red hues. I will click on Recolor and select the red color from the Recolor group section. Then select the color you want to change and pick the new one. So instead of dark blue, I will choose dark red and so on. Then download the design. When I want to find paintings to dress my renders, I go to the Poster Club. I really like their style and aesthetic. There are plenty of sites with paintings out there. This is just my go-to. Finally, if you are on the lookout for some cool wallpapers, I use Scalamandre. So those are the websites I personally use and I hope that you will also find them useful.